about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking I'm gonna be making over this dresser with DIY paint I didn't care for the scrolls that were on the front of the drawer So I decided to minimize that look by making my own plaster with DIY paint, cornstarch, and water Try to stir it really well so you don't have lumps like I did Makes it thick I've got the paint pretty thick now and it is a little lumpy-ish because I overdid it with the cornstarch but as you can see if you trowel it on and then take it off of a 30 degree angle you can get it pretty smooth so I'm just taking I don't know what is that a tablespoonful and I'm just gonna work on this section now if you're working on a flat surface it's gonna be way easier and I'm just gonna skim it over it actually maybe I'm gonna put a little bit more on there and skim it over it and it's gonna get messy so you know if you have are doing this over a floor, make sure that you have like a um, drop cloth or something underneath there. Okay, so you can see I'm just, I'm taking the flat side of it and then I'm gonna go over it at about a 30 degree angle and I'm just gonna put it back in there. So this is how you would trowel on plaster. So you wanna first put a generous amount on your surface and then while it's still wet, lightly go over it at about a 30 degree angle like that. And then you go ahead and get the rest of this done. Ready, pack, and come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know and now we wait for it to dry but i lightly sanded the drawer to knock down some of the roughness was on it and then back to being pretty smooth i'm gonna go in now and do a really thin coat of french millinery this is a beautiful gray lavender color it goes really well with owl robe but i kind of like to say it plays really well with just about every color what i like to do before i put a thin layer on it i like to mist my surface give it a pretty good long mist and then i like to mist my brush as well. This is a well-rounded brush from DIY Paint made for DIY Paint exclusively in Italy. And now I'm just putting just the smallest amount on here. What does that smell like? Does it smell good? So I am just going to brush this over. Now you can see that that teeny bit is going a long, long ways, but I want it to go even further. So I'm going to continue to spritz this. Now layering the paint adds just a little more depth. Um, there's going to be plenty of gravel road that's going to show through still, but this is going to give it more interest, more depth, and it's going to completely transform the stressors. So I got the French millinery layer on here, really thin, and I lightly sanded it just to have a little more of that faded burlap. And now what I did is I put very, very thin coat of vintage linen and another layer, a thin coat of faded burlap. You're gonna need three brushes for this. So I've got these DIY paint brushes that I love. They work so great with the paint. So one is gonna be for your vintage linen, one's gonna be for your faded burlap, and one's gonna be your blending brush. You need a water bottle, get your surface really, really wet, and then you wanna lightly go through it. And it's gonna take Take a little working over. This takes a little practice. There's not really a big right or wrong, but what you want to try to avoid are definite lines of where the colors begin and end. You want them to look like they're sort of fading and blending into each other. And try not to let your dog get inside of it. Remember to always keep a wet edge while you blend. If you think you put too much paint on, simply keep using your mister and a blending brush to keep it moving. I painted the rest of the dresser with vintage linen and used the well-rounded brush to get into the tight spaces. Remember to keep the paint thin by misting it frequently. You'll have less brush marks and a better finish. I'm using just a little bit of DIY new Pennies from Heaven Copper Patina. And just really lightly touch down on the high point there because I kind of like that look of the copper coming through. Do that right there as well. I like to use 320 grit sandpaper to smooth the finish of my paint before I apply a top coat. Now that you have this gorgeous finish the way that you want it, you're going to want to protect it. So we're going to use DIY paint, all natural clear wax. You're just going to use a little bit on here because a little goes a long ways. About to see the world in action, what we can be, life with no distractions, we'll get away, this is what we waited for. Now that the wax is dry, it just needs a light buffing. I'm just using a lint-free rag and just lightly going over it. It doesn't take a lot of effort and you get this beautiful low sheen and the paint just glows. It's really rewarding. I love it. And 
that's how you can make over an old dresser using Debbie's Design Diary DIY paint and layering it to perfection. Check below for all the links of where you can find me and more DIY paint to make your own layered paint masterpiece. Thanks for watching. Bonnie and Clyde, a classic cliche, where on the road.